Hi folks, welcome to the tutorial on how to get started with PubSub Plus Event Portal. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a new application domain and a new application. And then I'm going to show you how to find an existing event to subscribe to. All right, let's get started. Once you sign in with your credentials, you land here at the console landing page, which is where you access all the capabilities available in PubSub Plus Cloud. The free trial account gives you access to free event management and one event streaming service. Now note that you do not have to be a Solace Event Broker user to use the event management functionality. This video specifically focuses on event management, which is provided by the event portal. The first thing you're going to see is some helpful content to help get you started. You can start with a sample app domain so that you don't have to start from scratch. Click on Event Portal Samples and download one of these that best fits your specific industry. There are three product areas that you can click through. Designer, Catalog, and Runtime Event Manager. We'll be mostly using Designer in this video, but I will quickly show you the other areas as well. Catalog is very useful for searching or browsing for any existing applications, events, schemas, um, and event APIs. Runtime Event Manager allows you to discover, govern, and visualize the flow of events between your applications in each of your environments. So for example, in this production Kafka cluster environment, you can see the event-driven architecture running over one Kafka cluster. Now let's create uh, a new application domain in Designer. All right, so here we are in Designer. We're going to select uh, Create Application Domain. We'll give it a name, Retailer Demo. We want to make sure that we add a description so that uh, whoever you're sharing this application domain with, they can understand what it's about. Topic uh, domains define the top levels of the topic address for all events in this application domain. And you can get a lot more information right here to, to learn about it. Uh, in this case, we want to pick a Solace Broker. Uh, I'm going to give it the domain and uh, topic domain retailer slash products. And then I'm going to make sure to select this uh, button here so that it enforces for all of the uh, topic addresses within this application domain to, to be used. The, the topic domain. So everything is going to have to use retailer slash products. All right, we click save. Okay, you can now see retailer demo, which is the app domain that we just created, and uh, that it has zero applications, events, etc. So we now need to uh, create a new application. So I'm going to select the create application button. I'm going to call it new e-commerce. You can see that uh, it's assigned a version number to it, which I can edit. It's in draft mode. Uh, and one thing for you to note is that Event Portal has a full capability of lifecycle management um, to make it easier for you to really govern your, uh, your infrastructure. So I also want to add a description for this application. And now I want to uh, provision my new application to subscribe to an event. I want to reuse an event that my company already has. So select Manage Events. I, I need to look for an event that uh, is in a different uh, app domain. I see that uh, order status is something I'm interested in. I subscribe to it. You can see it now in the event flows. I need to add a consumer to it. Let's call it products. It's 
select an event queue type. So I pick Solace Event Queue. Event Portal makes it really easy to add subscriptions by selecting the event type that you want to attract to the queue. There you go. Save application. Now what I want to show you next is that uh, the schema payload that's associated with that event. You can see it here. And obviously you can change it as well. Now I want to add the application to, uh, to an environment. And so let's do that. There are two modeled uh, event meshes that I could add to. Uh, a modeled event mesh is really just a, a representation of your operational event mesh. I want to add it to the development environment, and I'm going to select my messaging service and add it in. Now you can see that, that it's in there. If you want to generate uh, some skeleton code for your uh, event API, just select Download Async API, select your messaging service, YAML file type, download the file, and there's the file that you can use for your, as your application's event interface spec to share with others, or you can use it as input into a code generator to generate the broker API code for the app. Now, if we go back to Runtime Event Manager, and we open up our development uh, environment, we can see the new commerce app that we just created. It's in draft mode and it subscribes to order status. I can also look at catalog and search for my new application. And there it is, new commerce, e-commerce. It's uh, got one event. And uh, if you see the versions here, you can see that it's in draft mode and it's in development. I've only shown you a few of uh, the key functions of Event Portal so that you can get started, but there's a lot more uh, powerful capabilities and you can get a lot more help by clicking the question mark here on the, on the console and uh, you'll see that you can access our documentation, the Event Portal samples that I talked about earlier, and then you can access the Solace developer community and have access to uh, other uh, users that um, that are using Event Portal and see what topics they're talking about and you can get help from them as well. Uh, or of course you can open a, a support ticket uh, anytime you want. The other thing I wanted to uh, bring up is inviting your colleagues to uh, to join you into the Event Portal and you can easily invite them uh, by typing in their email address here um, and uh, and sending them an invite and making sure that you select whatever capabilities you want them to have. Well, this concludes our tutorial. We hope that you've uh, enjoyed it and that you learned something from it and that you see how easy it is to, to uh, get started with Event Portal. Have a great day.